Where did she fall asleep? Welcome oh my gosh, welcome. these are not the photos you want the paparazzi to see of you, Madison. Oh, no, 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 no. Go home. Passed out on a bench in front of a bar and the paparazzi's there taking photos. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys are looking forward to today's new episode because we are jumping back into our BitLife Controls My Sims Royal Edition series and I'm really looking forward to it. So if you guys are too, please consider hitting subscribe and joining our wonderful family here and let's go ahead and get to it. Alrighty you guys, so we are actually at starting off in create a sim and i actually went and gave madison a new look because i figured you know she's a mom she's starting to kind of slowly adapting to being a little bit more modest she still likes the deep cuts and stuff like that in her shirts but i still wanted to give her a little bit of a sprucing up so i changed out all of her looks i gave her longer hair because i feel like it's been a long time she hasn't been to a salon and i just gave her a few new looks uh just to kind of like i said spruce in her up a bit and i also did the same for our super handsome husband prince harrison and if you can see i've actually given them a little bit of a beachy look because I thought it would be so much fun if we all went on a family vacation today. So I just wanted to quickly show you everyone's little beach outfits and their little, uh, the rest of their outfits. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back into the game and I'll meet you there. Alrighty, so we're back in the game and if you guys remember in BitLife, we ended off at 28 years old. We spent some time with our husband. We celebrated Christmas a lot. We also had Victoria's birthday in the last episode. She aged up into a beautiful kiddo. And we, uh, let's see. And we spent time with our loved ones. Not a whole lot happened. And I was like, man, it would be so much fun if we could kind of try to make things a little bit more exciting here. But the first thing we need to do before we do anything is we need to uh, fix little Victoria's bedroom because she is no longer a toddler and she would probably like to have a little bit of a more mature bedroom. So I'm gonna quickly do that and I will be right back. I am so excited for you guys to see Victoria's room. I worked really hard on it. So this is her bed. I tried to make it look as comfortable as possible and it's got beautiful photos all around and cute balloons. I don't even know why that's there, but it just seemed like something she would have. <laughs> I put some art on the walls and then over here I just made like a cute little uh, reading nook area and then she's got this beautiful mirror section with lights so she can look at herself and her little shoesies. And then over here she's got like a little desk with like her craft supplies. So she's got like uh, paints and pencil crayons down there and she's got little a little calendar for school and yeah just super cuteness all around. So I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out really cute. And I am actually going to go ahead and I'm going to age up one more year. Lucas Matthews, you are checking out a car show with your you are checking out a car show with your friend Lucas when he asks you what type of vehicle you think he should buy. Um, give him good advice. So our son Roland started primary school. It's only Wednesday and I've already taken 291 pictures with fans. Uh, my friend Lucas asked me for advice about what type of car to buy. I gave him the best advice that I could. Okay, so when we go here, I would like to go to royalty. And did she, did she like her new little bed? You can't see her under all the pillows, but she's in her big bed now. Yay, Victoria. So I'm going to have her do some law review. Criminalize parents who bring crying babies onto airplanes. Support it. Yeah, everyone agrees 100%. <laughs> um, our smarts has gone down a little bit. So uh, while they're sleeping, maybe I should get her to read a book. 
So she's reading Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It's a romance novel. I feel like that is totally what Madison would read. So that makes sense to me. Oh, yeah. Um, I need another. You read all 279 pages of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. So that has brought us back up to 100 everything. So the next thing I want to do um, is back under Royal, I want to do public service. You spent three hours responding to messages from your loyal subjects. So well, that's really nice of us. And we're 29 years old now, so we are going to go ahead and I would like to take the family on a vacation because last episode we focused on Victoria and her birthday, but these two haven't really had a honeymoon yet, so I thought it would be really nice to help with their relationship. Their relationship is still pretty strong, but still, I think he would appreciate going on a family vacation. So that's what we're going to go ahead, you guys, and we're going to do. So I think right now, because I don't have the snow escape pack, I'm going to go ahead and get the, I'm going to take them to <laughs> Melbourne, Australia. I feel like that might be like a pretty beachy area. And we are definitely going on first class. So your husband, Prince Harrison, wants to go with you. Your children also want to go with you. Obviously, bring everyone so you've selected a first class vacation for four people to Melbourne. It'll cost 70,000 simoleons, obviously no problem. On your trip to Melbourne, you become lost while out sightseeing and you don't have a cell phone on you. What will you do? Um, I'll have her buy a map. You took your husband, Prince Harrison, and your children, Victoria, to <laughs> Victoria and Roland on a first class vacation to Melbourne. Oh, yay. So they went on a family vacation. So we are going to go ahead, you guys, and take them on a vacation. Okay, you guys. So I've just gone to find their Melbourne slash Sulani um, beach home. So they are going to be staying at this modern Sulani mansion. It was it was built by Clever Cuttlefish and they did an amazing job. This is such a cool build and I'm so excited for the family to go vacation here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in here, you guys, and then I will meet you back in the game. Alrighty, you guys. So we just had them arrive at their vacation home. Now the kids, I'm going to get them to call and take a vacation day for school. Aw, she's giving Victoria a hug. That is so cute. And little Roland. So when we look at the app, Roland is now five years old. He doesn't look like as much of a little babalaroo as he was before. Oh, he's so cute. So I think we'll probably age him up maybe when they get home from their vacation so this is the vacation house by the way you guys so it's got lots of bedrooms it's got lots of stuff to do here it's so pretty like I would have never thought to put like a little indoor garden inside here they've got like a piano this huge back patio with lots of water sports to do little romantic area here for um, uh, for Maddie and for Harrison in the evenings. They've got the little outrigger boats, like everything and more. So we've got bedrooms upstairs. Mom and dad can obviously have this beautiful bedroom looking out onto the balcony. They have a little private balcony where they can maybe do some hot tub woo-woo. So I think we have everything we as a family need to have an absolute blast. So since our butler isn't here, I guess we're going to have to get Madison to uh, get her to serve some scrambled eggs with bacon. That sounds really good. She is feeling happy because her kids are growing up so fast. They are. If we look here, how old is Victoria now? She's nine. And how old are we? I think we're 29 now, eh? She's a year older than me. What are you, oh, she's not wasting any time. 
Victoria's like, I'm going to slide. Victoria's wasting no time. She is just loving having this water slide. I would too. Look at the view they have. The sun hasn't quite come up yet. It's winter technically. So it's going to be a cloudy day, but it's still nicer than what they're used to. What are you doing? She's playing I'm a monster. Here, let's get her to... I'm going to get her to play in the sand. So I'm just going to have Madison post on her Simstagram that she is on vacation with her family, uh, making sure she is still staying in the spotlight even though she is on vacation. Um, I was thinking maybe we could get her to do a photo shoot. Uh, no, we won't do that. Maybe she could do a talk show. Uh, the Martha, Martha Chisel, her show, has invited you to appear on the show. I think she would definitely do it. Uh, you were interviewed on Martha. The uh, public has denounced you for promoting your royal agenda on a talk show. Um, I would denounce the criticism. Not another word. Because that's how they promote, like, the things that they're doing and stuff. Whether it's a book, whether it's a royal tour. They always go on TV shows, so... Maybe she can do a uh, public service. You raffled off a night at the palace and donated the money to an animal rescue shelter. Okay, so I almost got the two of them killed trying to change the weather. It started to snow. Then I added this random lady to our household and had her do it for uh, us and it was successful. So it took a little bit of time. Everyone is dazed. <laughs> Um, but at least now, oh, I, now I can find the mailbox. The snow, I couldn't see it, so. But they are obviously feeling well enough because they are back at it. So I did have her go ahead and spend some time. So I'm going to let her do some sliding here on this with Victoria. And I'm going to get Harrison to actually take... Roland over to the little kitty pond that way he can do some swimming also so we've got Maddie out here and hopefully her daughter yeah Victoria is on her way to have fun with everyone so those two are having fun so fortunately we have butlers and nannies and stuff so they can take care of the kids We've got, uh, yeah, so the butler is with the kiddos, so that's good. It looks like we need a bath, so I'm going to go to the butler and go help Anne. I'm going to ask her to give me a bath. Now, what does little Victoria need? She seems to be doing okay. Maybe she might want to, I really thought that the kids would be allowed to uh, use at least the canoe. So I guess maybe I'll just let her come over and do some of these monkey bars for a little bit before we go out for dinner here. Okay, so everyone looks to be having a lot of fun. It's actually so nice to see these two hanging out with each other and having a blast. Look at them having so much fun. She's feeling like she, her stardom is starting to fade. Aww. <laughs> That's why she did the TV appearance. And then I'm going to send the two of them out for a romantic date night. Alrighty, you guys. So but we've just arrived at this super romantic, modern uh, restaurant here on the beach. It's really close to where they're staying. I want to request this table because it would be nice for them to be out on the, on the little patio here. And it looks like there's not too many people here. The delegados are here. Okay, so I think we were able to get the table that I want. So I'm going to have her on BitLife do some compliments. So we told Prince Harrison we think he is a god and that we think he is ter terrific. So she looks absolutely fabulous. She has, unfortunately, the paparazzi here. But I don't think she minds. I'm going to let her go more. I'm going to let her pose for pictures quickly because, you know, she was feeling like her spotlight was fading. She feels like she looks great. So, of course, she's going to let everyone take pictures of her. <laughs> 
and she's going to be romantic and I'm going to have her do a flirt. It's been a while since these two have been on a date, just the two of them and been able to uh, rekindle their love. It's kind of hard when you have the paparazzi around, but I think that it's actually making her really happy because she was feeling like her uh, she was feeling like her um, fame was fading and now she's back on top. So she's not gonna complain about that. I think she would even want to maybe milk it a little. So I'm gonna have her do a passionate kiss in front of the paparazzi and maybe they'll catch it. Ooh, look at these little cuties. I think um, take a selfie with the fan. I'll let her do that quickly. It did say I took a lot of pictures with fans lately, so I should get her to do that a lot. She's like, it's okay, come on over, I don't mind. Um, maybe we can get her to do it with this girl too. There we go. So she's getting a good reputation taking pictures with the fans. So I'm gonna come back over here and we'll order some food for the table. Okay, so let's get them a love potion for a drink. And maybe they'll get some pan fried tilapia. That sounds good. I smile thinking about you when I'm alone. Oh, it's not giving me the option for a deep conversation. Um, even though it's asking me to have a deep conversation with my date. Our meal is here. It looks like our, oh, look at all the fish jumping. That's quite the view, hey? Imagine being on a date looking out at that. I would be so happy. So they're enjoying their dinner together. They're being super flirty. I love it. So she really has to go bathroom. She is starting to get tired. Uh, so I am gonna let her go upstairs and go bathroom. Yeah, these two are really tired. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and send both of these two home. Three o'clock in the morning. These two had a cute little date. So I think we should end the date off with some cute little woo-woos. Oh yeah. Oh good, we both had good enjoyment. Ah, oh. <laughs> you are you and your husband, <laughs> you are pregnant with your husband, Prince Harrison's baby. I think that they would definitely keep the baby. They definitely, where did she fall asleep? No, oh my no, gosh, these no, are not the photos no, you want the paparazzi no. to see of you, Madison. Oh, no, 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 no. Go home. Passed out on a bench in front of a bar and the paparazzis they're taking photos oh my gosh okay so they both got home really late i'm gonna let madison just take a little bit of a nap before i let them woohoo because she is a little bit tense <laughs> um and i think i will let um the angry baby go swim with uh Harrison in the little kitty pool because Roland hasn't been able to do much yet so I would really appreciate it if Harrison would take his little babalaroo for a little swim and maybe I'll let uh, Victoria come out here and relax on the little sun chairs later or actually I'm gonna let her come play in the snow go build a sand sculpture there we go. So I'll let dad change into something a little bit more beachy. He can go ahead and put his swimsuit on because I think we all appreciate the view. Oh, Harrison being such a good dad. Now, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, I've had a few viewers mention in the comment section below that because the first two children, Victoria and Roland, were born before these two were married, that they wouldn't be recognized, they wouldn't gain the title of royal heir. Um, and the next baby they had would because they're officially married. 
So I am curious to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Do you think that Victoria wouldn't have a say to the throne? I personally wanted her to be the princess <laughs> uh, next um, and the queen next. So you guys will have to let me you know your thoughts on that because I personally think it's okay, but I don't want to, but I want to make sure that we do kind of what everyone has an idea of what should go. I think Victoria would make such a great future queen and I love her. So I'd love, love, love to hear your thoughts on that. Okie dokie, so these two are being so cute. We've got little Victoria building a little sand sculpture down here. And we've got mom sleeping after passing out in front of the paparazzi. Oy. Um, I think I'm gonna let Harrison finish up here and I'm gonna wake up Madison and I'm gonna let these two do romance more. I wanna try for baby. Why isn't it letting me, uh, try for baby, there we go. So Harrison and her are gonna go ahead and try for a baby. He's asking her from down here, quite impressive. <laughs> Hopefully he still actually has to be in the same room in order for it to happen. Oh, they've decided to go to this bed, okay. So they're gonna go ahead and make the third royal baby. So let's get her to try again. Can you build a sand sculpture with your little brother? So mom is still sleeping and dad is watching the kiddos as they hang out. Let's put you in your little beach wear, you little cutie. There we go. So we got all of our cute little family. Oh, I just love everyone. Okay, is mom pregnant that's what i need to know she needs a shower but i need her to take a pregnancy test please yay we are pregnant this is good this is good i am so excited oh look at her little baby bump is she gonna go yet yeah, share the big news oh i'm so excited so their romantic date night resulted in royal baby number three. Ah! So excited. Wanubu. Ah, cuties. So Harrison definitely looked happy about that. I'm going to let him go be monster sand sculpture. I hope that the kids don't get upset. I thought he'd have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should end it off with Roland aging up. I'm gonna let dad go do some sailing. I feel like Harrison might have been a part of the sailing club. It might have been him or another guy she was talking to in university. I can't remember, but I think Harrison at some point was a part of a sailing club. So I'm gonna let him go sail around in the outrigger canoe. Enjoy the last little bit of fun before they head back home. Cutie pie. Help blow out candles. We'll let Roland blow out the candles and then he can get food from the fridge himself. <laughs> Instead of us having to worry about a toddler chair. Where are you going? No, put that down. Put that down. Thank you. Okay, there he goes. Oh, little cutie. <laughs> She's got to pee so bad. I think he's gonna be a cutie. Select an aspiration and trait to replace wild. Now, if you guys remember, I was saying how it would be kind of cool with Roland if we kind of made him like the party guy because his sister's gonna be really proper. He can be maybe the more irresponsible royal. So I guess for now, uh, we could give him goofball. Make him a little less serious. So I think we'll go ahead and make him social. He aged up with his red hair still. Uh, little cutie pie. So I'm gonna go ahead, you guys. We're gonna jump into create a sim and we're going to get this kiddo all CC'd up. So if we look at Harrison, he is age five. He will be six by the time his little family member, I don't know if she's pregnant with a boy or girl yet, um, will be born. So he still has the exact same hairstyle and everything. So for now, that's what we'll go with. So this is him before any CC. I actually love that he kind of aged up with like this like beach bum vibes, but 
uh, that's got to go for now. <laughs> um, so I will go ahead and take care of that, you guys, and I will be right back. Alrighty, you guys, so I just finished Roland's looks. Now, remember, he is basically six years old now. I'm about to age up Madison to find out what our third royal baby is gonna be, so he still looks a little bit older. So this is his everyday look. Like I said, he's more of like a jokester, doesn't really take royal life super seriously. So she's not someone who would be upset about him not wearing a proper tie or, you know, a certain look for formal and you know being okay with certain different looks so like she's more comfortable with him wearing ripped jeans for his hot weather look or his cold weather look so uh that's what i went ahead and i did with cute little roland i'm so curious to hear your guys's thoughts let me know what you think should we put a little hat on him we should there we go so there is roland attenborough you guys so let's go ahead and jump back in the game so there he is, you guys, in game. I think he is so cute. These two almost look like they could be twins, don't they? But she does look like she's older than him. I do feel like she's a little bit taller. She's a little bit more proper. So I really like that it's still obvious he's the little brother. Um, so I think we're going to send these guys home from va vacation. They had an awesome family vacation. Roland aged up. They had an awesome date. Madison looks like she is absolutely falling apart right now. She's hungry. She's pregnant. She got paparazzi passed out at a restaurant. She's had a rough time. <laughs> so I think she needs her beauty sleep, maybe a bubble bath back at her giant palace. So we're going to go ahead and send them home, you guys, and we will catch back up with them when we get there. Okay, so we are back home and it is super snowy and super wintry here. Uh, I just wanted to make sure, oh good, her bedroom is the same. So I'm gonna, oh look, they're already working out. She's like, I gotta get rid of all this baby weight, Harrison. <laughs> so I'm gonna get the two kiddos to do their homework for school tomorrow. Oh look, Roland brought some shells home from their family vacation. Um, I will put that on his dresser for him, little cutie. There we go. So he's doing his homework and so is Victoria. So I am gonna go ahead and age up uh, Madison one more year so we can find out what kind of babalaroo we're having. A baby girl and her name's Lottie. Oh, I like the name Lottie. That is so cute, yes. <laughs> Duchess Lottie. Oh, that's interesting. I think that when Victoria was born, we didn't get Duchess Victoria. So maybe the app automatically says, hey, your first two kids don't get the royal title. That's interesting. We're going to have to go look at their profiles when we're done. You are the proud mother of a baby girl named Lottie Attenborough, the Duchess of Normanby. So we'll have to see if the other two kids have a title or not. That's exciting. Okay, so let's go look. See, so the first two doesn't have, they don't have uh, royal titles, you guys. It's just Victoria with no crown. And if you look at Lottie, she has the crown. So um, the few people that did comment saying that the first two kids would not have royal status was correct. The app does not recognize them as royals. So uh, our daughter is a duchess, but the other two are not. Are we able to get make them royal somehow? Oh, I feel so bad about that. I didn't know this. I, I'm such a noob when it comes to this game, just so you guys know. So I'm going to go ahead and see what she is pregnant. She's pregnant with a female already. Okay, so we will go in labor. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We're going to go give birth to Lottie. Go ahead and have a baby. Okay. So it's gonna be Duchess Lottie, cutie. There you go, you guys. So she is the only royal in the family. I'm honestly so interested in this. Okay, so she's feeling great. She's had her little babalaroo. 
So you guys, I think we are going to go ahead and leave this part here. We went on a big family vacation. We are leaving off at the age of 30. We just gave birth to Duchess of Normanby. Little Lottie, I love her name. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think. So with all that being said, you guys, I think I'm gonna leave this part here. And until next time, I am gonna say bye for now.